messing things here. Okay. All right, guys, what's going on? George Corso, George, uh, Coach George, yes, yes. Welcome back uh, to some more stick mobility and suspension trainer. Okay, so we will need access to all three sticks, uh, especially just for the warm-up portion of the workout. And then we're gonna use mostly the small stick once again when we use our suspension trainer. So once again, if you don't have a TRX like I have, that's completely fine. You could use, uh, you could use your uh, gymnastics rings or whatever you have available to you, okay? So let's get warmed up, let's get prepped out, and let's get going, okay. Warm-up time. Okay, so we're going to start with a small stick first, okay? And I'm going to bring my left knee on my left knee on the ground. I'm going to go into a full extension this way, okay? And what I'm going to do is the stick is on my left hip. My right leg is forward. I'm going to reach up all the way and come back down. Excuse me one second. The video is really crooked. That's all better. Okay, we're back. All right, so left leg is forward, right leg is back. I want you to reach up and back and bring it right back down. Squeezing the glutes on your left side as hard as you can. My foot is flat on my left side. I come up, bring it back. Let's do four more. Keep the stick or your bicep close to your right ear. I bring it back three more times. Three and back. Two, reach up, bring it back. One more time, bring it up, and switch sides. My left leg will be forward, my right leg will be back. Okay, bring the leg back as much as you can. Once again, that foot's flat. You start on the right hip, and I bring it up towards the left, and come back down for one. Bring it up, back down for two, up, that's three, bring it up, that's four, two more, bring it up, past your ear, last one coming up, up, and great job, okay, great, so now we're going to go with the big stick, we're going to go back to our kneeling position now, once again, we're going to work on our pelvic tuck, and we're going to rotate, so, once again, my right leg is forward, my left leg is back, kneeling on the left knee. You push the left foot into the floor, put this big stick behind your shoulder blades, grab the end of the stick and pull it together. I'm going to tuck the pelvis forward, I'm going to rotate to the right, come back, relax. Also, take your rear heel and pull it towards you. Tuck and reach, bring it around, bring it back. Tuck, around, bring it back, that's three. Tuck, bring it around, bring it back, that's four. Tuck, around, bring it back, that's five. Let's go to eight. Tuck, squeeze the glutes, rotate around to the right, bring it back to center, bring it back two more times. Tuck and squeeze those glutes, bring it around, bring it back, one more. Tuck and squeeze, rotate around, bring it back, Let's switch sides. Okay, here we go. Tuck and squeeze, rotate around. That's one, relax. Tuck and squeeze, rotate around. That's two. Tuck, squeeze those glutes, rotate around. That's three. Tuck, squeeze, around. Four more. Tuck, squeeze the glutes, around. Three more. Tuck and squeeze, bring it around. Tuck and squeeze, bring it around. Two more. Tuck and squeeze, bring it around. One more time. Tuck, squeeze the glutes, bring it around. Great job. Okay. All right, now let's go into our ninja flow. Okay, so let's put it to the inside of our left foot. Hand is on, I'm going to drop down, stretch out the shoulder, almost like I do a skin the cat. I'm going to put my right hand on the bottom, keep it against the rib cage as we lunge on over to your right and hold. Try to keep the feet flat. 
slowly got to come back up. We're going to go right to the other side. Drop down. Bring it around. Hold. Bring it right back up. We'll go back to the other side again. Okay? Let's drop. Bring it around. Down. Bring it back up. One more time. The inside of my right foot. Drop down. Over and drop. Hold. Open up that rib cage. Bring it back up. Now let's go with our bow and arrow. So you can have a stick to the outside of the left foot. I'm going to go to the inside of the right foot just for a more advanced option. Mobility wise, press out, bring your pelvis forward, squeeze the glute to the hold. Have a good grip on the stick with your right hand. Slowly come back up. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Reach and hold. Squeeze the glutes on the left side. Come back up. One more joint from exercise. Okay. Grab your small stick. We're just finishing up. Okay. Arms overhead. Okay. We're going to drop down into a Cossack squat, Cossack lunge. Okay. One option is just to keep the stick overhead wide. Option two, which I'm going to drop over to my right, okay? I drop to my right. Now I'm going to take the left head of the stick, aim to touch the floor. I come back in, stand back up. Opposite side. We're going to lunge down over to your left now. I want you to reach down, touch the ground if I can. I come back, stand back up to the right. Lunge to the right, bring it down, hold, bring it back up, stand up, last one. Here we go. Lunge it down, touch and hold, eyes up, back to center, stand up, we're ready to roll. Okay, all tucked out. Okay, we are starting first, two moves, TRX row, and then we're going to do a hollow body press. Next, okay, so uh, move your suspension trainer up to a shortened position for yourself. So if you do have a TRX, move it up to fully shortened. If not, find a position that you can row in. Okay, we've been doing this row the last couple weeks. We're going to continue doing the same row. A uh, big fan of it, palms down to start, and then palms will be up when we get there. We're aiming for about just eight to ten reps, nothing crazy. All right, let's lie. Find a position that works for you, whether the legs are straight. Or you're going to have your legs in tabletop. That's fine. Okay, we're going to move the scapula first. I'm here. Scapula row. One. Down. Scapula. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight, down, up, nine, down, up, ten, down. You know what? This feels good. Let's do a few more. Okay? Up, five, down, up, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, down, up, one, and good job. Okay, grab your stick. Okay, so I'm going to lie on the ground first. I'm going to hold the stick shoulder width apart. I'm going to try to bend the stick in half, and then I'm going to try to shorten it, okay, on the press. On the way down, I'm still bending in half, I'm going to try to rip it apart at the same time, okay? All the while, your legs are either down or up. Here we go. Bend in half. Work that chest a little bit, and I'm up. Rip it apart on the way down, and on the way down, lead with that scapula first. Up, down, 
That's two. Up, down, that's three. Up, down, that's four. Drive the elbows into the ground. Up, that's five. Up, that's six. Up, that's seven. Up, that's eight. Two more times. Up, that's nine. One more time. Up, down, and ten. Beautiful job, guys. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the first one will be our suspension trainer. The next one will be the long, uh, long stick and suspension trainer. Take your trainer, move it down to mid calf. So again, if you have one of these, a TRX, handle is in line with the knee, foot cradle in line with the mid shin, mid calf. Here you have a ring when you're doing this. Top of the ring can be the same thing, bottom of the ring can be pretty much where the mid shin is. Okay. So I'm gonna get into a, a static beast position first, or tabletop position with my tier, my suspension trainer. So I'm sorry, and you're gonna have just one foot in, just your right foot. Okay, now this is where this one's challenging. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna float with one, okay, tabletop position here, static beast position, and we're gonna do just toe taps. Come up the ground and come up, just tap and come up. Okay, if that's too challenging for you, bring the knee down all the way to the ground, reset, and try to hover for a second, okay? 10 taps, elbow pitcher forward. Here we go. Knees off the ground, come up. Tap, that's one. Tap, that's two. Tap, that's three. Tap, that's four. Tap, five. Tap, six, tap, seven, tap, eight, tap, nine, tap, and 10. Great job, okay. This time we're gonna stand. We're gonna take our right foot out of the foot cradles and we're gonna put our left foot in and get to a right leg lunge with your big stick, okay? Okay, so it's gonna go in my left foot first, and then we're gonna kneel straight down. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put the stick behind the back. I'm gonna elongate my leg in the back, get into a floating lunge, okay? And I'm just gonna dip the shoulders, dip the shoulders. We're not coming up, we're staying in the low lunge. Okay, here we go. Up the ground, here we go. one, Two, squeeze the glutes, three, on the left side, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on ten. Let's see if we can stand up, drag the leg forward, stand back up, take the foot out of the foot cradle. Great job. Let's put down the longer stick. Let's get back into our static beast position and put the uh, left foot in now. Our left foot will be in. Okay. Same thing once again, going back to our toe taps. Okay, elbow pitcher forward. Make sure that your hands are directly under your shoulders. I'm not wider than shoulder width apart, and I'm trying to bend that bar in half to get those lats more activated. So the tip of your fingers should almost look almost a different color, a different shade, what I'm trying to twist out more, okay? All right, here we go, elbow pitcher forward. Here we go, bring the leg up, tap for one. Up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, and 10. Beautiful, all right, take that foot out. Let's put our right foot into our suspension trainer once again. And we will leave the stick once again. Okay, and then 
I'm down. Left foot be forward, right leg will be the back leg. If you're finding it too hard to balance, kneel down for a second. If you're having a hard time, just hold that position for 10 slow reps. Take a break when you need to. Okay. Here. Now, if it's too hard at all, just don't need to use the suspense trainer for this one. All right. Shoulder blades are back. Legs extended. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And we're going to try and stand after we're done. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. We come on up. Great job. Grab some water if you need it. And we're moving on, guys. Great work. Okay. Okay. Two moves. So we're going to keep our trainer right where it's at. We're going to go with the small stick for the first exercise. Second exercise, we're going to use just our suspense trainer and keep the feet in the foot cradles in a prone position, push-up position. Okay, so we're going to do some hollow rockers first. If the rocking's too hard for you, with the stick overhead, I simply just want to see, can you come up with your crunch and rock back down? Option two, we're going to do a hollow rockers. All right, so grab your stick, try to bend it in half, shoulder width apart. Over the head, extend the legs out, get the shoulder blades off the ground, and I'm going to rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, Two and one. Fantastic. Go right back to our push up. And then we're going to do the hollow rockers one more time to really get those abs. Okay. Push up position. We're going to do either just knee tucks, okay, or we're going to work on just 10 only, 10 atonic push ups. So at the bottom of the push up, elbows bend, legs are straight. As I press, I want to, at the same time, bring my knees towards my chest and tuck and hold, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one, hold this forward, okay. Down, up for one. Down, two. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, one more time, down, and ten. Nice work. All right, let's go back to our small stick once again. Let's do a couple more hollow rockers, and then we move on. Okay. Here we go. Back to the same thing we did before. Over the head. Again, if it's too much, go back to what we, did, we said the first time, but just do a crunch. Okay, hands on your, on your stick. Overhead. Legs out. Get the shoulder width off the ground. And we rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, hydrate if you need to. Okay, still going to stick with the small stick. We are going to do a second round of our rows, okay? Move it up to the position that you need it in. Again, if you have a T-Rex, we'd like that fully shortened. You can. Okay. Once again, palms are facing away. As we row, we go right into our chest. Okay. At the top of that row, really try to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really retract them in to send them down the body towards the hips and retract. Okay. Eyes are up. Here we go. In three, two, one, and 
Begin for one, down, two, down, three, down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, up, hold, great job, beautiful work. Okay, take a small stick. We're going to lie on our stomach, palms are facing up. We're going to try to bend the stick in half, and we're going to take it into our stick pull-up position on the ground. So it's a prone uh, pull-up position, ground-based. Okay, palms are up. Okay, I'm going to get the legs off the ground. I'm going to pull it into the top of my chest. I want to make sure the elbows are going back towards the hip and not rotating upward. Okay, I don't want to put the shoulder into internal rotation, I want to go exhale and bring it back. All right, palms are up. Here we go in three, two. One shin is down and pull. Up for one. Pull, hold, two. Pull, three. Pull, four. Pull, that's five. Pull, that's six. Pull, that's seven, pull, that's eight, pull, that's nine, last one, pull, and ten. Great job. Okay, moving on. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put our feet back in the suspension trainer. Okay. And we're going to go back to mid-cap once again. We're going to do another lunge series. This time we're going to use the short stick. And we're going to move in the lunge, okay? So let's put our left foot in first once again. Okay, so we're at the right leg lunge first. My foot goes in, my trainer, move down. Okay, I'm going to have the stick in front of me. As I stand, the stick's out in front. As I come lower down, arms go overhead, okay? So, all right, let's stand up. As they lower down, they go overhead, come back up for one, down, up for two, down, that's three, down, that's four, down, that's five, down, that's six, down, that's seven, down, that's eight. Two more times, down, that's nine, last one, down, come all the way up, lower yourself all the way down and keep your left foot in the cradle. Okay. I'm going to go into a side plank here. This time my top foot is in the foot cradle. Last time we did our bottom foot. This time my top foot is in. Okay, I'm going to get to a side plank position. Now, if this is too much for you, I simply want you just to dip the hip up and down. Keep both feet on the ground. Second option, we're going to start one foot on the ground, one foot in my suspension trainer. As I bring my knee into me, I'm going to connect it to my elbow. My left elbow, my right knee to my left elbow. Okay. So I'm going to come up. I'm here. As I come in, I touch. I come back for one, foot on the ground. Let's go. That's two. In. That's three. In. That's four. In. That's five. In. That's six, in, seven, have that control, in, that's eight, two more times, in, that's nine, last one, in, and ten. Great job. Let's stand up, let's grab the stick, and go to the opposite side. Okay. Now I'm going to put my right foot in. Working that left lunge. 
Okay. Knee leg down. Okay. Left foot is forward. Right leg is back. Okay. We'll start in the standing position first. I'm going to come all the way up. All right, here we go. Let's lunge down. Up for one. Down. Up for two. Down. Up for three. Down. That's four. Down. That's five. Down. That's six. Down. That's seven. Down. That's eight. Two more times. Down. That's nine. Last one. Down. And ten. Take the foot out. I'm sorry. I should have kept it in. My mistake. Okay. Let's go back with the right foot in. We're going to be in that side plank. Unfortunately, I have to face away from you guys for this one. Okay. So my right foot is in. Okay. We start with the left foot on the ground as well. Right arm is extended. Here we go. Palm flat. Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder. That's important. Here we go. One. Back. Two, back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Wonderful job. Take your foot out. Hydrate if you need to, and we're moving on. Okay, let's go back to fully shortened. This time we're gonna use a stick in the foot cradles. Okay, I'm sorry, if you have the new one, once again, if you have a TRX and you have the new one, put the Velcro on it, put the stick inside the handles instead, just so it doesn't accidentally come open on you. Okay, I'm gonna do some high face, or high rows actually. So, I like to put this uh, foot cradles or the Spencer trainer right in between the uh, stick mobility emblem. All right, slightly wide the shoulder width apart. I'm gonna walk my way in just slightly, just a little bit, okay? And I'm going to just pull the shoulder blades, meet in the middle, come back down. Okay, it's not a, you don't have to go too deep with this position. Really focus on just trying to keep that scapula where it wants to move. Okay, turn it properly. Here we go. One, and down. Two, down. Pull the shoulders first. Three, and down. Four, and down. Five, down, keep the glutes tight, abs uh, flat, pull. Six, pull, seven, pull, eight, two more times. Pull, that's nine, one more time. Pull, and ten. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so now, next ones will be two standing moves, and we're going to do three on the ground facing moves. All right, so. Take your suspension trainer, move it down to mid length. Use the, the stick sparingly. We're going to do some pistol squats. Okay? So, what I would hope you guys don't do is lean back too much where you're taking the weight out of the leg and you're moving back and not moving, learning how to go up. Okay? So, you know, anytime you do a pistol squat, it's not like we're leaning back, right? My leg's extended, I'm able to come down. Right? I'm not leaning back. I want to see if we can come back up. Okay? I could, either, I could do pistol squats, but I always go back to this just to perfect my form more. Okay? So I'm going to use this sparingly. Okay? So my arms are going to go out. Okay? So my arms are going to go straight out, and I'm going to pull on the lats just to get the core more activated and my pistol squat to come up so I eventually have almost a straighter position. Okay? So 
Start on the right leg first. We'll do five and five. Feels good. We'll do another set. Let's see. Okay. I'm out. Up for one. Out. Up for two. Out. Up for three. Down. Up for four. Last one. Down. Up for five. Great job. Try to push evenly on the stick when you come up. Let's go to the opposite side. Try not to grab it and lean back like I said before. Okay, we'll do your best. Whatever's the best for you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to lower down. Up for one. Down. Up for two. Down. Up for three. Down. Up for four. Last one. Here we go. Down. Up for five. Great job. All right. Let's move it down to mid-calf once again. We're using a small stick for the next three exercises. Okay. So, all on the ground. Okay. Good. All right. So, lying on the ground. Met mid chin. Okay. Lying down with arms are straight. Just tension on the TRX already, or your bench strain already. I want to see if I can come up. I'm slightly wider the shoulders apart. I want to keep tension on the on the suspension train. So I'm not doing this to come up. I am pulling myself up to a flat position, straight position, slowly come back down. So believe it or not, your abs are not the prime mover in this one. Okay? That's that, that, your back, your body. Here we go, ready? Three, three, two, one. Bring it in up. Try to rip it off the anchor point, down for one. Up. Down for two. Up. Down for three. Up. That's four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight. Two more times. Up. That's nine. One more time. Up. And ten. Brilliant job, guys. Stay right where you are. Just rechecking the list here. Okay. Stay in position. Okay. Bicep curls. Okay. Palms here. I'm down. Okay. It's the same idea, okay? But now I'm going to bring the stick towards my forehead. I'm going to engage the bicep. Now, shoulder blades are back. Watch. I'm not curl. I'm not doing a crunch to come up. I curl up and slowly come back down for one. When you hit the ground, don't relax. Okay, keep tension within the arms. Okay, have a come up with this one. Here we go in three, two, one. I've got the elbows up. And I'm trying to rip it off the anchor point. Come back down for one. Up. That's two. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, that's eight. Two more times. Up, that's nine. One more. Up, and that's ten. Great job. Okay. Now, I'm going to find almost like my hollow body position in a way, okay? I'm going to lie on the ground, but now my arms are in front of me. Tension is still in your suspension trainer and stick. I'm going to come up. I'm going to pull my knees into my chest, trying to keep the ankles up nice and high. Down, I come up. Down for one, okay? Here we go. Push down, lats are involved. Up. That's one. Up. 
two, up, three, up, that's four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, that's eight, two more, up, that's nine, one more time, up, and relax. Great job. Keep the suspension trainer where it's at. You're gonna take your stick out. We're gonna put our heels in. We're gonna put cradles. Okay. Heels are in. Okay. Bend the stick in half as I go into my hip bridge or leg curl. I want to press. Okay? So, squats up in the air, drive the elbows into the ground so that the lats, rhomboids are more involved, more of a full body movement. I'm up. As I drive my hips up, I press, down for one. Press, down for two. Press, that's three. Press, that's four. Press, Five, press, six. Now, if you're having a hard time with this, just pull your knees into your chest and just have your butt hover a little bit, okay? If the hip raise is too hard for you, do that one. Let's do four more. Here we go. Four, and down, three, and down, two more times. Two, and down, last one. Up, and down. Great job. Hold on. Okay. Let's put the stick back into where the handles are, or for cradles if you have the older version. Okay. When you turn, face away from the anchor point, arm is nice and straight. Okay. I'm going to straight. I'm going to kneel down on my right leg first, okay? Squeeze the glutes, drop the pelvis forward. Now, I'm gonna take my left arm out, I'm going to rotate around, bring it back for one. Kneeling down, rotate around, bring it back for two. Rotate around, bring it back for three. I'm trying to move the uh, suspension trainer off the anchor point. That's four, squeeze the glutes on the right side. Bring it around, that's five. Bring it around, that's six. Around, that's seven. Around, that's eight, switch sides. Left hand goes on, I'm nice and straight. Extend out the right leg now. Here we go, rotate around. That's one, around, that's two, around, that's three, around, that's four, around, that's five, bring it around, that's six, around, seven, one more, around, that's eight. Let's stand up. Let's grab one of the longer sticks now. And let's go into our slap shot. Let's put it behind the lower back. Here, palms are facing straight ahead. Wide your feet. Remember option one, you can go to the middle. We're gonna be lunging to our right. Option two, which is more advanced, we go to the inside of the left foot. Left foot. Lunge out over to the right. Breathe, have a good grip on the stick. Let's come back up. Let's take it to the opposite side. Go over to your right now or to the middle. Then we're gonna lunge over now to our left. Come up. Let's grab both sticks. 
Let's take it into our skin the cat. Getting in between. Grab on. Lower yourself down. Round those shoulders and relax. Have a good grip. Relax your legs, I should say. Have a good grip in the stick. And we are done. All right. Guys, thank you so much for joining on. If you guys have any questions, you can type in the comments really quick. If not, I really hope to see you guys next week for another episode of TRX Meets the uh, uh, Stickleability. All right, guys. Have a great, great day. I'll see you next time. Peace and love as always.